Hello friends, this is Blessing For Real. Today's video is going to be about how to use brushes, the right brushes for your eyeshadows. It's one thing to have good brushes and it's another thing to use them the right way. So quickly I'm just going to show you the few brushes you need. You really don't need that much except you just want to have excess of each. I'm going to show you this, I, this brushes in sets and I'm going to show you how I use them as well. So you can see I haven't done my eyeshadow, we're going to be doing them together. So I'm going to show you the first one which is our all over eyeshadow brushes now this is our eyeshadow brush this is what you use just here and you can see I have two here because this is a flat one is used I like to use this one for just matte eyeshadows you know just around this part of my eye the main eyelid and this is kind of a fluffy and is is more protruded so for that reason I like to pack um, um, eyeshadows that got glitters I like to use it to just you know dab it around here this is very good for eyeshadow glitter this is how this brush looks and I like to use it for um, eyeshadows that got glitters and then the next set of eyeshadow brushes I'm gonna show you are this ones you can see these are blending brushes we've got a bigger one and we've got a small one this one is a bit small is what I use for my transition shade which I'll be doing right away and this is what I use to blend all my eyeshadows when I'm done these are called the smudger brush so I've got this protruded one and I've got this other one that is kind of like this but this one is a bit longer and I've got this one that is angled and they all work very well for different purposes and the last two set of brushes I have is this one this one I just use it for I just use it for my waterline area just under here to make my eyes smoky and this one I use this for my tear dots so basically the brushes that are really important are one your eyeshadow brush for just here your main eyelid two your transition brush and three your blending brush and uh, four your small do brush. is I try to use smaller blending brush for my transition shade now I've taken my transition shade and I'm just gonna dab it around here you want to concentrate on this part and then work your way in and I'm gonna do it on this other side So now I'm just going to use the blending brush to blend. So I've just done the transition shade. I don't know if you can see. Let me move closer. I hope it's focusing. So you can see how it looks. So now we're just going to do the smudger. So I'm going to be using this brush. Like I said, I'm going to smudge. I'm just going to use it around here. I hope you can see it properly. Just here. I'm going to use it to create like an outer V. This brush is just perfect for this because if you're using like a bigger brush that is not meant for smudging, what you do is you put it on top of the color you've used already if you were using a bigger shade and people will not be able to see the transition or the different shades. So what I'll be doing with this now is um, I'm going to be blending. I don't know if you can see the separation. You can see I've got this other shade that I use for transition and I've got this dark shade that I use to smudge. Now if I use the wrong brushes, let's say I use the same kind of brush that I use for my transition for my smudging, what will happen is it will go on top of my um, transition shade and you won't even see the difference. I'm just trying to blend really well. So now I want to use the main eyeshadow, the one you put under here. And I'm going to use this blue from uh, Moth, it's called Twerk. I'm just gonna put it here. You want your eyeshadows to come out more, all you just need to do is use an eyeshadow base. For me, I like to use concealers. I'm 
was using a brush like this for for this um, part of my eye area what will happen is it will go over the dark shade or any other shade I've got on top and you won't be able to see the separation so that's why you need a precise brush like this for for um, eyeshadows like this because with this brush you can really control and so now I'm just gonna blend again and how far we've come so the next thing we're going to do now is to put a shade on the tear on my tear dot so this is a shimmery eyeshadow so I'm using this brush this one that I said earlier that I like to use for my tear dot area and I like to just blend it in. I don't want it just hanging there like, you know, it's not involved in the eyeshadow look. So the next thing we're going to do is use this under here. Now I'm going to use this other brush that I showed you earlier to smoke out under my eye area. I'm going to be using the same shade that I used for um, my transition. I'm just going to put it here. Just to tie everything together. I'm going to use a darker shade just at the end here. So I had to go off camera to do my lashes and my mascara because that's not included in this video. So what do you think about all we've done today? Again, I'm going to show you the brushes you need. So actually, you can do this shade with just five brushes. This brush is just your transition shade. Anyway, I'm going to list every brush I've used on this video in the description. This is for my blending. This is the brush I use for my blending. It looks so much like my transition shade brush, but you can see that it's a lot bigger and you can't have flawless makeup without blending. This I use for my bottom lash, my waterline, just the outer part of my waterline to give it um, uh, to make to give it a smoky effect. And this brush I used to smudge I use it to pack my dark shade um, to make like an outer V on my eye area and this I used for my tear dot this is what I used for my eyeshadow the main eyeshadow the colored one that's called the main eye lead so this is what I use so if you are a beginner these five brushes are all you need I didn't include the one for the tear dot because that is optional not everyone put anything in their tear dot area so these are all you need you can wash and reuse and keep using them until they've run out of use so I'm going to list these brushes the name um, in the description please do help me like help me subscribe help me share and let me know in the comment section what you think about this makeup and this brushes thank you bye